Okay, so we're here with uh, Yana Hempwer, an uh, amazing running coach, and she's going to... What are you going to do for me today? So I'm going to talk about a few basic exercises that you can do anytime, anywhere, that will help you improve your running. Okay, I look forward to it. So the first exercise is a core exercise that everybody has heard of. It's called the plank. Oh, I have to demonstrate. <laughs> so you can do the plank in a couple of different ways. You can do it on your hands like this. What you want to make sure is that your back is straight, that you're engaging your glutes and you're engaging your core and you want to stay as straight as possible. The other way you can do the plank is on your forearms. It is a little bit harder, but you also want to focus on the same thing, which is engaging your core and your glutes. And then there is the side plank, which is where you want to engage your obliques. and keep your body nice and straight. And then you want to do both sides equally if you're doing the side plank. So if you're holding your left side for 20 seconds, you also want to do your right side for 20 seconds as well. All right, so next one is simple. It just involves standing on your one foot because running is a sport where you do spend a lot of time on one foot, alternating each foot. This is why it's very important to learn how to properly stand on one foot without going side to side too much. So what you wanna do is, this is really simple. All you do is you just stand on one foot and you stand on one foot for as long as you can and it helps you engage all your muscles around your ankle and around your knee and around your hip and you want to try to avoid shoulder movement. And then you want to switch feet. So you do that. You can switch feet and you can hold it like this as well for as long as you can. Ideally, you want to do the same length of time on both feet or on each foot, I should say. And if you really, really want to challenge yourself with this one, then you can do it on the BOSU. Now that takes a little bit of extra coordination and a little bit of uh, extra experience. But all you do is you have a BOSU, we'll pretend to have a BOSU here, and we just step right in the middle of the BOSU, and then we stand on one foot on the BOSU. And the idea is still the same. When you're standing on your one foot, you want to think about having your hips line up with your knee which lines up with your ankle because a lot of times as soon as people stand on one foot or as soon as they try to stand on their one foot what ends up happening is they go like this or they'll go like this but you want to try to avoid that type of movement as much as possible and to really really focus on just holding it there holding it there so your shoulders and your hips and your knees are lined up. So the next exercise that I recommend to runners is skipping. And the reason why I really like skipping is because it works on our cardio without having the same impact on the body as running does. So it's almost like a way to cross train. It also allows us to use different muscles improve our coordination with our legs and our arms and it also helps strengthen our calves as well because we're doing a lot of push-off motion whenever we are doing skipping 
Now with skipping, you can do it with both feet, you can do it on one foot, and you can do all sorts of different tricks. A lot of these I probably won't be doing here, but, uh, but even just the basic, just for one minute, you can skip any time that you got an extra minute and you can do it almost any time, anywhere. So it's pretty simple. <laughs> cut. That would be cut. I think this rope is a little bit too long, but it works. And there's one foot. Or you can also alternate. And this is very similar to running. So the next exercise is step ups. It's also very simple because all you need is a bench of some sort that isn't too high and isn't too low. And you can even do it on your own stairs at home, which is why I like it. And again, it helps us strengthen our legs, which is very important if you want to run well. So all you do is you just Go up and down. Hey, Sorry. Come on, guys. Okay. <laughs> Add to the video. <laughs> up and down. And you try to do the same amount of repetitions on both legs. And also, as you're doing these, you want to make sure that your knee doesn't go over your toe. It can be even with the toe, but doesn't go over. And as you go up, you also want to focus on engaging your glutes. Okay, so are you? Donkey kicks? Yes. All right, so the next exercise is the donkey kick. What you want to do with that is you want to find something nice and solid to hold on to, or that's the way I like to do it. And the big benefit for donkey kicks is that uh, you get to strengthen your glutes. And that's also very important for running because you want to utilize the power of the biggest muscle in your body. So here we go. Really focus on trying to engage your glute. Go as high as you can. And if you really want to challenge yourself, you can add a weight to your ankle. And that could really make things a lot harder. And you also want to do the same amount on each leg. So there we have it. Cool. Um, okay, and then where can we find you? So on Instagram at YHempler, okay. on Facebook at Yana Hempler Fitness and on my website www.yanahempler.com which is all in the description box below so don't forget to comment like and subscribe follow along on these videos and we're going to build a whole series on how to make you a better runner